Hey guys, hope you're doing well this week. This week we have a lot of exciting stuff going on. Um, for people that said their memory verse, which a lot of people have, what are they going to get, Miss Cassie? They are going to get a pretzel or a donut hand-delivered from us. From me and Cassie tomorrow. We're really excited about that. That'll be Friday. So we're really excited about that. And Miss Cassie, what else do we have going on today? we got a fun game, I believe, where me and you are going to face off, right? We do, and hopefully I'm smarter than Mr. Ethan, but I mean, we'll just have to see. We'll have to see, and I believe there's going to be some fun stuff with that. We've got a lesson coming up, so you're not going to miss the rest of this video. All right, guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you my life verse, and it is Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 1. And um, you might ask, what is a life verse? Well, um, it, it, can, it means different things to different people, but for me, it's a verse that I've used um, from when I was a little boy up until now. To, I'd go to it when I didn't understand things, and it gave me great comfort. And um, when I think about a life verse, I think about something that it's kind of a, a verse that you run to when you might need some encouragement, or just something that's a thought that you remind yourself throughout the day. And uh, my life verse is Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. It says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin with us so easily beset us. Let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the same, the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. In this verse, there's a couple things that stick out to me. The first thing is um, that we're the Bible here is comparing the Christian the Christian life to a race. And I say most people have run a race, even if you're just racing your brother or sister or your friend, or if you've run a race at school or something. But it's comparing it to a race, and it's not a quick race where it's just, a, you know, maybe a few yards or whatever. But it's a long race that we're running our whole life, however that long that might be. And it tells us to let us run with patience the race that is set before us. And what that means is that each person has something different that they're going to do in their life. Not everyone's going to be a, a plumber. Not everyone's going to be a pilot. Not everyone's going to be a preacher. It doesn't matter what it is. God has different plans for everyone. And so everyone's race is different. We're supposed to run that race with patience. And when I think about that today, I think about how some people get in a hurry sometimes and they try to jump ahead. And a lot of times that's when we mess, mess up and make mistakes. But moving forward, I think it's very important that we run the race with patience. Live our life with patience and we aren't too... Uh, excited to get ahead of what's next. The second second thing I see is that Jesus is the author and finisher of our faith. And what does that mean? Well, if you ever read a book or you know what a book is, the person who writes the book is called an author. And Jesus is the author and finisher of our faith and what we put our trust in. And he knows how our life begins and he knows how our life ends before we're ever before we ever come into this world. And that's comforting to me because the same God that built Everything we see today and has seen it has created the world. That same God knows what's going to happen in our life today. This is my life verse. Whenever you're having a hard day, might um, be having a difficult week, whatever it might be. I want you to choose a verse in the Bible. It could be with whatever verse you want it to be. But this is my life verse. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame. Jesus Christ died for me, died for you, and I hope today you can remember that. And uh, ultimately, that would be the ultimate thing that we know is that Jesus Christ is our Savior. All right, today we're going to be finding out who is smarter, Cassie or Ethan. So we've got a list of questions ready, and if they get the question wrong, then they get to choose their poison. We have some good prizes and some bad prizes if they get the question wrong. And the first person to get five correct answers gets to choose the punishment for the other person. All right, let's do rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first. All right. Rock, paper, scissors. So would you like to I'd answer like to the answer question? First. Okay, yes. you'd like to answer first. All right. On a map, if one inch equals 20 miles, how many inches equals 180 miles? Nine. That answer would be incorrect. It's 90. So close. Simple mistake. So let's decide. What will you be eating? A sour patch kid. Mmm. Got off easy on that one. Yeah, unless you don't like sour patch kids. I don't think you should. You ate the whole thing. The whole, whole thing? The whole bag. No, just kidding. <laughs> 
Sour, sweet, gone. In the Gettysburg Address, what are the first six words? Um, four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth the funniest okay, that's more than six. Okay, yes, I got it right. So you got it right. So you have one correct answer. You got, got your total. What month is the U.S. federal holiday Labor Day? September. That answer is also correct. It's tie game. One to August. one. I thought it was August. Woo. I kind of scared there. All right, Mr. Ethan, are you ready? Yes. How many presidents have had the first name of Franklin? How many presidents have had the first name of Franklin? Yes. One. That is incorrect. It is two. <laughs> Sour Patch Kid. Sour Patch Kid. Again. Easy. That was easy. Just so you know, um, one of the things that we may have to eat is chicken and apple baby food. So. Alrighty, Miss Cassie, are you ready? I'm oh. ready. Oh, nasty. <laughs> oh. Who was the president of the United States in 1790? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. It was probably a man. <laughs> I am thinking it was a man. Um, Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> It was George Washington. I almost said that. M&M's. In 1790? M&M's. The U.S. Attorney General is head of which cabinet department? The U.S. Attorney General. What cabinet department? Yes. Do you think Mr. Ethan will like? You know what? It'd be nice to let him pick. But I'm thinking maybe the chicken and apples. I'll take We have, yes, sweet potato and chicken and apples. Mm -hmm. I want chicken and apples. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> that was your mistake. That was a nice sized spoon. Ugh. 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 Okay, hope I don't get any more. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How would you like a Sour Patch Kid right now? I would rather have anything like <laughs> that. Oh. Which is longer, a kilometer or a mile? A... a mile. Correct! <sighs> Kathy, now it's two correct questions. She's taking the lead. <clears throat> A kilogram equals how many grams? A thousand grams. Okay, that was also too easy. Whatever, we'll give it to you. I gave two to two. All right, Miss Cassie, you ready for a geography question? Oh, yes. What is the capital city of Nevada? Okay. Don't laugh at me. You don't know it? I've never been to Nevada. Can I steal? Oh, is it Las Vegas? No. Incorrect. It is Carson City. Hmm. No oh, look, she has baby food. No cheating. She's a cheater. She's a cheater. Sour Patch Kid. She's a, did you cheat? No. Did she cheat? Nope. You saw her at home cheating. She she cheated. Had... No, I looked as I threw it, but I did not cheat. I don't even like Sour Patch Kids. A likely story. Oh, right. <laughs> so it's a uh, two? Twos? Who's? You ready? Yeah, my geography question. Your right. chance to take the lead. All right, I'm ready. I'm excited. How many U.S. states border Texas? How many U.S. states border Ooh. Texas? Um, well, I know Oklahoma does. I know some other ones do. I don't know. So at least one. Do I have choices? No. No. No choices. All up to you. Six. Incorrect. It's only four. Oh, I thought it was four. I thought I could. Take a draw. No Still looking. a tie game. Two to two. M&M. &M. Yes. Yes. No baby food. Yes. Presidency belongs in which branch of the United States government? Oh, no. Uh, okay. So we have the judicial, executive. Okay, you can't tell me. Is it in the executive? 
that would be correct. Wow. Cassie has taken the lead. Three to two. Oh no. All right, Miss Jacob, are you ready? I'm ready. Your social studies question. Okay. Which U.S. president is featured on the face of the nickel? The nickel? Yes. <laughs> it's Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. That was a good guess, though. Draw. No, it's William Henry Harrison, even a president. <laughs> Who is William? Dang it, I have baby food! <laughs> <laughs> I think you should try the other flavor. It's so nasty. It's <laughs> 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 so nasty. It's <laughs> terrible. I feel bad for babies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you ready? I'm ready. No pressure. Give her a hard one. How about a spelling or grammar question? Oh no. The following sentence contains how many possessive pronouns? Mm -hmm. Jane let John ride her bike because his had a flat tire. Is it two? Correct. She gets all the easy questions and no baby food. <laughs> or I'm just smarter. I don't think it's smarter. Canadians celebrate Boxing Day on what day? <laughs> Boxing Day? Like I have another date in the month? <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go October 13th. That was a great guess, but it's December 26th. Oh, I yeah. thought that was an easy one. You wanted an easy one. I thought that was an easy one. I like all the easy ones. If it's baby food, I'm not doing baby food again. <laughs> Sour Patch Kids. Yes! Yes! Which animal appears on the state flag of California? Animal of state flag? Okay, probably not a groundhog. <laughs> just, just the thought. You never know. An eagle. <laughs> it's a bear. It's a bear. Don't get that point. Don't get that point. F3. No. Baby, I'm not walking out. Maybe. Eminem's. Ah, oh, she's cheating. You're I a cheater. Didn't, I didn't cheat that she's time. The eagle on our national seal holds an olive branch in one claw and 13 of what in the other? <laughs> olive branch and 13. Something. I don't think it's olives. <laughs> my, my first thought was the 13 commandments, <laughs> but there's only like 10. <laughs> there's an olive branch, 13 leaves. That's very close. What is it? But it's in fact arrows. <laughs> I'm not eating baby food again. Don't pick baby food. I can help you pick if you'd like. Ah, baby food! <laughs> oh, have mercy on me. It's so nasty. <laughs> All right, we're good. 37 divided by 5 equals 7 with a remainder of what? 2. Ah! 2. That's correct. We have a winner. Miss Cassie is in fact smarter than Mr. Ethan. What will his punishment be? Well, I think he's about sick of the baby food, so I think he should have a Sour Patch Kid dipped in baby food. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ow! I wish that was true. <laughs> oh, it's not. <laughs> it's so bad. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you play along.